hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the made it crew to go ahead and get started with this video i am going to be showing you all how to upload your templates into your etsy shop that way you can make money selling templates that you create on canva so right now i'm just making a a template for this video and i wanted to go ahead and include me making this template um, in the tutorial so basically what this is is just a hey siri um canva template i know you've probably seen this on instagram uh i'm gonna tag no if i can't remember it i'm gonna tag the original flyer on the screen because i can't remember the young lady's name on instagram but anyways, you just see me creating the Hey Siri text. Um, the font that I used is Go Time, I think. I think it's called Go Time. It did come from thefont.com. Um, basically, what I'm doing here is downloading that as a PNG, uploading it back into Canva, and adding a couple strokes and a um, glow to it. We've done this a few times in different videos, so if you haven't watch the 25 days of canva playlist please do that right now okay so right here i'm just adding the siri notifications um to where it just say hey siri book my appointment i hope that made y'all serious come on and book some kind of appointment <laughs> um, i'm just going to type the text hey siri book my appointment with um so and so and then the reply that Siri gives you. For the Siri icon, I just typed a uh, Siri into Google and I found a PNG. Um, there was no background on it, surprisingly. So if you just type that into Google and go ahead and upload it into Canva, you'll have that. I'm not sure if there is one in Canva. I needed this for a flyer that was created in Photoshop. Well, and now that I you it, have your template made, what you want to do is um, come right here to where it says share. Usually I go ahead and download it and upload it back into Canva because I needed to make like my product picture mock up or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and download this uh, flyer and upload it right back into Canva so that I can use it later. okay so after this you still want to keep this open but you want to open up another document um it honestly doesn't matter what size the document is this will just be so that you can link your template to the file that you upload to etsy so i already have mine's made this is my template that i created for when people purchase templates from me I'm going to scroll all the way down. It's like 50, 50 something page, 53 pages on here. So this is the one for the Grinch one, but this is just a blank one. So I created this, uh, just to link my link, the template to Etsy and allow the people to access the template. So I keep one blank and all I do is make a copy of that template. I'm going to go ahead and name it. Um, Hey Siri. So I'll know that this is the page for that template. So all I'm going to do is link the template to this page. And I'm also going to grab that photo that I downloaded and add it on here too. Just um, so the customer knows which temp template it is. Okay, so I'm just going to add it here. And now that I have the picture of the template highlighted I'm going to click right here to where it says link and this is where you'll put the template link we're going to go back to the template so that I can show you how to get that link so here's the template we created you're going to come up here to share um sometimes it's right here um sometimes it's not but if it's not right there just click more down here you're going to click on template link and copy this link once you get that link copied, go back to whatever template that you made for um, yours and you're just going to paste that 
link there. I also paste it on the wording, but it's really up to you what you want to do and how you want to do that. So once you have your links in this file, you're going to download this to your computer. So you're going to come back up here to share and hit download. But see right here, it says it looks like you have links in your design. Please choose PDF. So that's what you want to do. You want to come back up here, hit PDF and then choose the page that you're on. We're on 53, so I'm just gonna select current page. And done, download. So this is gonna download to your computer as a PDF file. I have a um, folder with all of my templates in it. So only thing I'm gonna do is rename this one to the name of the template, which is Hey Siri, and then I'm gonna put it in this folder. See right here, not compress, but rename. Rename it, hey Siri, drag it and drop it into this folder. And then you wanna open up your Etsy store. All right, y'all, so apparently the people decided that they wanted to cut grass today. So if y'all hear noise in the background, that's what it is. Alrighty, so now that we are in um, Etsy, what you wanna do is just add a listing all right, um, if you have an Etsy shop, you know how to do all of this. Add your photos. If you want to add a video, the title of your product, and then your description. All I do is copy and paste a description from whatever was my last upload and just put it in there. Um, title, I'll do all that later. Put it in your category. But right here, what you want to do is hit digital instead of physical so that the client or I mean the customer doesn't think that you're actually shipping them a flyer so right here in order to upload the digital file you have to finish filling out the stuff at the top so the made to order and all of that stuff has to be done before that option comes up and I think I just have to do this one but let's see Okay, now I can upload it. So right here in the digital file section, this is where you want to put that PDF. Um, you can upload pretty much a few files, five files, up, add up to five more files. Yeah, like um, they allow you to add more files if needed. But me, I put all of the templates on one thing. So if I'm doing like a business card, thank you card bundle, both of those templates will be linked to that one PDF. But anyways, what you want to do is hit upload file and find that PDF that you linked to your flyer that we just made. Mine's is in my templates folder and here's Hey Siri right here. So all I have to do is hit open and it uploads the file there. So when a customer purchases, they automatically get the file at checkout. So all they have to do, um, once they pay, they'll get an email the where they can show the downloads and they'll be able to open that PDF up, click the link that's in this file. All they have to do is click the picture or wherever you linked the template and they'll be able to open it and it'll look just like this. So I really hope that that helped you all as far as selling templates on Etsy. I do get that question so much. It's a really simple process. It's just once you make your um, initial template, like your blank page that you want to link your templates to, it's so easy. Make sure you name your files in Canva so that anytime you need to go back to them, they're right there. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Walking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. This will go home.